name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A very warm welcome to our online broadcast as we celebrate this, the Feast of the Epiphany. The grace of God has dawned upon the world through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify a people as his own. So let us confess our sins. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we, who know you now by faith, may at last behold your glory face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 60. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, 
and thick darkness the peoples, but the Lord will arise upon you and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your son shall come from far away and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. 
When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The tier four lockdown has probably given you more time to play with your presents this week. You may well have tucked into some of your Christmas chocolates already, opened that bottle, tried on those new pants, spent that Amazon voucher, played that new CD, tried that nasal hair trimmer. Many of us are inundated with stuff, some that we need, much that we don't. Christmas is passed with a lump of coal and a clementine in a stocking seem like the stuff of Dickensian folklore. We could bemoan our consumption of stuff, but the livelihoods of retailers are a cause of great concern this year across the nation, making it a somewhat somber protest. Do you have any idea what the number one toy was this year? It is the Baby Yoda soft toy. Star Wars fans will know what I'm talking about. It is the most ugly thing, but it's yours for $11.99. What was the most unwanted Christmas present that you ever received? Socks in the wrong size, a shaving set when you've had a beard for a number of years, a dairy milk selection when everyone knows you've become a vegan, a Butlin's gift voucher, a Michael Bublé album. Well, surely nothing can be more unwanted by a newborn baby 
than gold, frankincense and myrrh, the three gifts that we reflect upon with the coming of the Magi this Epiphany season. All three gifts are ordinary offerings and gifts given to a king. Myrrh being commonly used as an anointing oil, frankincense as a perfume, and gold to denote splendor and riches, fitting then for a king, a savior, Christ the Lord. The three gifts, of course, also have a spiritual meaning. Gold as a symbol of kingship on earth, frankincense as a symbol of deity, and myrrh, an embalming oil, as a symbol of death. This child would become a person who would offer his life for the salvation of all. A slightly macabre gift, isn't it, when compared with a baby Yoda soft toy? Many of us didn't have the Christmas that we wanted. We're disappointed and we're pleased to leave 2020 behind. And whilst we're not out of the woods entirely, there is every reason to be optimistic that 2021 will see the light at the end of this dark tunnel. We want to put Christmas 2020 behind us, but don't put the Christ child behind you. Do not, to use the apt expression, throw the baby out with the Christmas bathwater. For the gifts of the Magi point to what this holy child will be for us. A king with a spiritual kingdom, the kingdom of God to which we are invited now, a king that no earthly gold can begin to dazzle. A son of God, making many sons of God, reconciling the whole of creation to God in his very self. A holiness that no person or church or incense can compete with. A death that gives life, that opens a gateway for us, a new creation, a new hope, a new life, an energy, a life, a light, that no embalming oil can constrain. All that we believe about Jesus is symbolically represented in those three gifts. And I would encourage you to reflect on those gifts today, the gifts that really matter, for they point to God's kingdom, God's love for you, God's eternal hope. Those ancient gift givers did more than wrap their gifts in elaborate paper, in cushioned boxes with bows and fancy labels. They gave their gifts on bended knee in homage to the King of Kings. For they knew that their gifts were a pale insignificance to the one who is the fullest generosity of God. Friends, don't be disheartened. It's been a grim year and actually, it's not stuff that many of us long for. It's good relationships with those we love. And that hasn't been easy. Many have suffered. Many we have not managed to see. We, like the Magi, have had a long trek in 2020. A journey, if you like. But in meeting Christ, let us 
pay homage, give our hearts as Christina Rossetti bids us. In doing so, may we, like the Magi, be gripped with joy. So as you grapple to find the right batteries for that new gadget, grapple with an online delivery that's been delayed and then is chucked over the hedge, as you queue in customer services, stare at the strawberry quality streets that no one seems to want, although I've since found out, found out that both Alan and Belinda are fans, so perhaps the mint ones would be a better example. Weirdos. Let us look forward to a brighter future with hope and joy in our hearts as we contemplate the true value of God's many gifts to us supremely in his Son. Let us fix our gaze on him like a bright burning star. Amen. we affirm our faith in the words of the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Let us settle ourselves in the stillness of God's presence as we pray. We are all companions on a spiritual journey. As we travel together, let us pray for the worldwide church, both leaders and people, as they begin another year. We ask for a deeper awareness of your presence among us. Like the Magi who have been down difficult terrain, but with faithfulness to the light that draws, which will be the light of all the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember our community here at St. Mary's, all our church leaders, including Chris, our vicar, our district church council, 
and all who work and are planning for the future. We look forward with hope for the new year and all that it will bring to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have spent Christmas apart from those they love. We pray for those whose celebrations are tempered with sorrow or fear. We remember those who find this time of the year sad or a lonely season. And we remember those it brings to the surface memories or dangers. The lonely and those with mental anguish. Through good and difficult times, you are always with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the members of our congregation locked down and unable to get out. Father, we remember those listening in today from far and near and give them your blessing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our town of Hitchin, for those who work in the town, our shopkeepers and our businesses, and all who keep the town going. We pray for all our young people, the schools of our area, especially the teachers and the governors who are responsible for the safety of our schools at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we remember before you the nations of the world, those struggling to live justly in peace. We pray for the homeless and those who have to search daily for food or walk long distances for clean water. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Healing God, lay your hands on those who suffer so that they may know the support of your presence and find wholeness and peace in your love. We pray especially for those who are locked into the conviction that they are beyond your forgiveness. May they quickly discover the freedom of your acceptance. And we remember Mike Steele, Malcolm Menzies, Joey Bradshaw, George Prouse, Erica Hodges, Angela McNally, David and Anne Norman, Jane Ketchington, Dorothy Chamberlain, Peter Warren, Grace Igwe, Shirley Roos, Avis Westlake, Mark Vincent, Chris Parkinson, and any others known to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, in your unchanging love, receive all those who have died in faith, that they may rejoice in your, you forever. And we remember by name Henry Messer, Bill Shin, Ham Lockhart, Mary Frost, 
Barbara Graby, and any others known to you. Eternal God, we thank you for providing us with a sure hope that we can face the future and not be overwhelmed. Let us for a few moments bring to God what lies on our hearts at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Saviour Christ is the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end. Friends here and friends at home, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. The Lord is here. He is here is his will. Lift up your Give thanks to the Lord our God. This is right to give him thanks and praise. All honour and praise be yours, always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever living God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For at this time we celebrate your glory made present in our midst. In the coming of the Magi, the King of all the world was revealed to the nations. In the waters of baptism, Jesus was revealed as the Christ, the Saviour sent to redeem us. In the water made wine, the new creation was revealed at the wedding feast. Poverty was turned to riches, sorrow into joy. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise.
We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ, Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen.
who with the wise men have been drawn by your light discern the glory of the presence of your Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us for this uh, worship at home. Um, I hope you understand the difficult decision that the DCC had to make um, very late this week. Um, and so we will not be meeting physically in church for the next three Sundays beginning today. And we will review um, this as this fast moving situation develops. I'm hugely grateful to the choir, although I think I may have cut their last hymn out uh, by mistake. Right, no, I'm all right, good. Um, <laughs> for, um, for augmenting our worship this morning, a, a band of the choir, it's been wonderful to have you with us. Do join us um, for Zoom coffee at 11.30 uh, today. It'd be good to see many of you there um, where we can uh, encourage one another in this very strange time. So hope to see many of you there. So may Christ, the Son of God, perfect in you the image of his glory and gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and all those whom you love and pray for this day and forevermore. Amen.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Neil, for your solo. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you all. Um, I might see some of you next week, but I'll, as I said in my email, I'm trying to be fair and spread.